Welcome. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and I'm here with my co-host, Social. And Social, today we are in the grammar zone. And I have a couple of phrasal phrasal verbs and then uh, an adjective, but they all use the word point. And mm-hmm. I thought this might be an interesting one to, to uh, look at. A little bit more closely and so our first one is point at and what does it mean to point at someone or something um you just take your index finger usually and you point it in the direction of that person or thing yeah and just make sure it's your index finger and not a different finger yes, yeah different you, finger. that yes. might get you in trouble yeah yeah <laughs> um here's an example she pointed at the painting on the wall the teacher pointed at the map to show us where the country is located. So yeah, it's really easy. And th- th- let's just a, a quick aside here. Um, it is considered rude to point at people sometimes. Yeah, it can be. Yeah. If you're like, uh, if you see your friend and you're like, hey, um, Hey, you're with you're with your other friend, and you run into your other friend. And you're like, "Hey, is that blah 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 over there?" And you point at them, and then you go say hi. Like that should be fine. But if right. you like see someone, and and you know, just use your common sense here. But in a lot of contexts, it can be used. It can be rude. Like if you point at someone and say, "Oh, did you see their shirt?" Like even if you like their shirt, uh, you think their shirt is really cool, and you point at them because that person doesn't know necessarily, right? And so if they just see you pointing, they might feel kind of embarrassed. And so that's why it's considered bad manners, you know? Right. Sometimes you'll see this in movies, you know, like, I don't like you, you know? They're oh, like, yeah, that too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's more of like poking instead that's of like pointing. An emphasis, uh, like, yeah. I don't like you, you know? <laughs> I don't yeah. like you, yeah. Um. Okay, so point at is just a physical gesture, like you said, using your index finger. So... Um, what about to point out uh, something? What does that mean? Uh, it it can be used like figuratively and to point something out is usually you catch a detail or an aspect of something and you bring it to the attention of others. Exactly. That's the, the definition I have here. To bring something to the attention of others by mentioning it or highlighting it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, he pointed out the errors in the document. So that means like there was some kind of document and there were some grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes. And uh, one person didn't see the mistakes, but the other person pointed them out like, hey, look at this. This is spelled wrong. Or, hey, this needs to be changed to this or whatever. So you're you're pointing out the problems. Um, right. Yeah. Another example is, I'd like to point out that we need to finish this project by Friday. So bringing to the attention of the group, hey, everyone, we need to finish this by Friday. So they're they're pointing out some fact or, or piece of information. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Good. And the last one is pointed. And pointed has kind of multiple uh, definitions, multiple meanings. Um and say like uh she gave him a pointed look mm. uh, which is another definition which can mean a sharp look you yeah know. a sharp look that kind of means or insinuates something like say that that this boy is disrupting the class and the teacher gives him a pointed look she's looking at yeah. him like you know a sharp shut up kind of look without saying anything <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call it sometimes we call it side eye or something a little yes, bit. Side yeah. Eye, yeah. yeah. Or you can also say like um she gave him a pointed look and then said, um, you know, you're like singling someone out with the pointed look. So you can Yeah. It and it doesn't have to be a pointed look, it could also be a pointed remark or a pointed comment too. Yeah, yeah. So it's for she made a pointed remark about his lateness. You know, the student's always late. And then she made a pointed remark. It'd be just a very short, sharp remark, you know, like. Know who it's for, in other words. Yeah, 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 Yeah. exactly. No beating around the bush. No beating around the bush. Very obvious, very clear, very pointed, just uh, direct and to the point. Um, 
And uh, there's another one here, uh, just like to be sharp, like the pencil has a pointed tip. Yes. It so. just means a sharp object or your shoes have, your heels have pointed toes. So, you pointed know, when the heels that have a point on them. Yeah. Right, right. The boots have pointed toes instead of round toes. The round toe shape, which is rounded, and the pointed toe shape, which is like a V. Yes, exactly, exactly. So something that's sharp, that has a pointed edge to it, um, like a pin, a pencil, something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. That we covered it. I think we got it. Got it. Uh. We did it well. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, listeners. If you have any questions about those, or if you have any future questions for phrasal verbs that you would like us to cover in the future, make sure to leave us a comment down below at a to z English Podcast dot com. Shoot us an email. Jack and I really appreciate your listener emails at a to z English Podcast at gmail dot com. And make sure to join WeChat and WhatsApp to join the conversation, so you can speak to Jack and I directly. Also, if you uh, care to, we have a exclusive content option, which you really support the podcast by joining. And we really appreciate those of you who have joined. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.